tell what's going on. This preacher. So I'm here, Palm Beach, Florida, at my little uh my contract freight that I got. Times like this is when I'm glad I do have contract freight. Yeah, these freight prices are low, but like I again, that's what I said. I'm glad I have contract to freight because with my contract to freight that I have, at times it's in the medium. You know, like I said, I had to go back to them and get more money, so now I do this load for twenty one hundred dollars, right? But now. With everybody talking about these low rates, I'm still at my regular $21, uh, $2,100 for this here low, no matter what. That's a benefit of having uh, these contract rates and, and, and contract rates. My low going up there is 500 miles. I get that for $1,250. The low coming back down. 628 miles I get that for 2100 it's Friday Friday morning and I'm on my last load before I do a reset and I'm at 6300 bucks and again and I'm home five nights a week rest of the day Friday off and I have Saturday off then I start back again on um, Sunday and that goes 200 miles and that pays me $900. All these, all three of these here are contract. The Sunday load I just do one time, that's just on Sunday. Uh, the HVAC load that I do, I do that twice to get me up to uh, North Carolina. Those at $12.50 each. And then coming back from North Carolina, uh, the load I get is at $2,100 each. Okay, so yeah, so that 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 gives me a good grill, seventy two hundred dollars a week, and being home five nights a week with the rest of the day Friday and Saturday off. Now, when I catch up, I am let's see, sixteen hundred dollars left to uh catch up. Now, once I catch up that $1,600, you know, I don't have to do the Sunday load. You know, uh, uh, I go to church and I spend, try to spend a, a lot of time at church. So I'd rather not do the Sunday load, but, you know, I'm still recouping from being in the hospital. So, you know, being off the rest of the day Friday and all the day uh, Saturday works is working for me for uh, right now. Now, Easter, I'm not working uh, next weekend. When I deliver my load uh, Friday morning next week, you know, I'm going to be done. But that's why I don't worry about the the rates when you could not get these some contracts, man. And only thing people can tell you is no. When you go to these places, you talk to people, you never know who you're going to talk to. You know, you just talk to people and you, you, you're being professional when you talk to people and being courteous and you talk to people like you got some sense. Then you start learning who people are. are. You know, so if you're able to book your own freight, and this only works if you can book your own freight. So I'm talking to the ones who's trying to book their own freight. That's why I got with this company that I'm leased on to, leasing my service as an independent contractor to, because I want to get with a company that allows you to book your own freight. You know, so I make my own decisions. I go where I want to go or stay out for as long as I want to stay out because I knew I wanted to get contracts. So when I do go out to get my own authority, I'm just already got the contracts. So instead of them getting a piece of the pie, I get the whole pie. Now, when I get off here, I got to go to my parents' house. It's about eight miles away. And work on my ground wire that's on my starter it came it, it, it broke got in the truck this morning I got power running through everything but the starter wouldn't 
turn over at all. I'm like, man, what is going on? It wouldn't turn at all. I get up under there to check the connections, and then I look at my ground wire uh, popped from the solenoid on the uh, eye clip. So the eye clip is still attached to the solenoid, but the wire broke off of it. So I have to go and get get myself another eye clip. I don't have that size. I have some smaller ones. I got some bigger ones. I don't have that little that size. So, um, but my dad said uh, he has some. So I'm gonna go there and uh, uh, do that real fast. That shouldn't take that long, long, long to do. But I know once I do that and get back up to uh, my house, I'm gonna go to the uh, auto parts store and get another kit, that um, another wire kit, you know, that has all those um, eye clips and, and things like that on it. So then the wire, how I position the starter, I am stretching that wire out a little bit, so I may get another wire and uh, just attach it to that wire, just extend the wire a little bit so it have a little bit more slack. And then I attach that back to the solenoid that's on, on, on the starter. But yeah, y'all can probably hear the truck running now. So it is running now. I did get it running. But what I had to do was I had to do some stuff to prop the wire on top of the solenoid to uh, get the power and everything. And I was able to, you know, start the truck up with no problem. So I made it happen just to um, get get this unload off. So while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that. Work on this little silly note. While I'm abutting there for the week, I'm going to go ahead and just do the assessment of my truck. You know, bumper to bumper, look for any um, air leaks or anything like that. See if if I see anything know stuff like that while I'm up under there and go ahead and um, take care of any um, air leaks that I find or anything like that you know just really really look at everything into uh, detail with, with stuff so but that's about it going on with the truck and everything I have to get a uh, have to do a, a oil change I have put some stuff in it to uh, treat some uh, uh, lube and everything up in there. So I just ran the truck for two weeks with all that, just to lube up everything. And I'm gonna do a, um, a oil change on the on the truck. They already had lubed up everything and stuff like that. But just to do another oil change and not go in here. While I'm doing another oil change, go ahead and change out the fuel filter and change out my coolant filter as well. Go ahead and get that done. I have to do a radiator. Uh, uh, coolant change. Oh, it's still it's uh it's gotten a little bit dark. Um, but I don't know how long this coolant was in this truck. This is the same coolant that been in this truck since I got this truck. I never did a um, a coolant change, so it'll be the first one for this intro. And I didn't have this truck for a year and going on four, five, six, a year and six months. So a year and a half, I didn't have this truck. So it's it's about time for a uh, coolant change. So I'm going to have to work out that this month and uh, change out my uh, coolant. Understand? So I may just wait on the, uh, the coolant filter and just change out the coolant filter when I do the um, coolant change for the, uh, oh, excuse me, coolant change on, the, on this truck. But yeah, just go ahead and get that stuff done. But I was like, man, but uh, I'll probably make another little video later showing you the, the wire and, and stuff like that. Um, when I'm talking about what I had to do and things like this. So it is good to know some things about your vehicle. You know, it's, it is it is good. Not saying you got to be a master mechanic. Not saying you, you got to do all this particular stuff, know all this stuff, but you should know how to look around your vehicle and do anything minor or anything like that. Because like this wire, right? All right, if you, if you hook up a fan 
a ceiling fan at your house. You know, it's it's the same thing. If you didn't change out a plug or a, a, a something, it's pretty much the same. If you the same plug you plug your fan up to, if that wire then broke and you cut the wire, then you reattach the wire, you put the little thing on it to do the wire protector on it and stuff like that. It's pretty much the same. It's not cut and dry. It's, this is no need to take your truck to the shop. If you can look up under there and you see some wires and a wire just had popped, you should know how to change a wire or fix that wire or go to YouTube and learn how to fix that wire. Go to Home Depot and you know you can get the kit on how to yeah you know cut the wire put new wire put the clamps on it to clamp the two wires together you know you should know how to do that with no problem I mean you don't have to be stuck this is not no cut and dry just the same thing like changing the starter out okay just three bolts okay you got three bolts you pulling out Okay, and then you got to unscrew some stuff and unfasten some stuff. Take pictures so you know what wire goes where, things like this. It's, you know, little, little stuff like that you should be able to do. It may take you all day compared to a shop. Take it like two hours to do. You know, hey, I mean, the starter. Somebody else probably could have did this starter in about 45 minutes, you know that does it all the time and things like that okay me it take about three hours three three and a half hours my shoulder still hurting for doing this in starter man my shoulder hurting man my neck hurts the muscle all the way up to here hurts man i got pains all in my shoulder and everything that's why it's like man okay maybe i should have paid somebody the you know 150 or 200 dollars to install the starter for me because I didn't have a week worth of pain, a week and a half worth of pain, man. It's in, and it, and it still hurt. I mean, my arm is still hurting to this day. Pains and stuff. It's like, man, I should have never replaced that starter. I never should have did it. And I'm hurting, man. I'm hurting. I'm really, I'm really, really hurting. You know, I just can't do that physical kind of stuff like that no more. But. Know, I'll probably save myself like 200 bucks doing it you know but now I'm like man I, <laughs> I'm, I'm like some people that could do it themselves but don't feel like feeling fooling with it so they'd rather rather go ahead and pay somebody the $200 to do it yeah I'm, I'm to that point with some stuff like man I just you know you just start hurting and you're like well it's $200 worth my pain in this case Sleeping every night in pain, putting the icy hot all on, and then your shoulder still hurting, but then you got to smell the icy hot, man. And you know, just doing all that. Like, man, looking back on it, I'm like, I should have paid just the two hundred dollars to get, you know, you could have went to the TA and just have them uh switch to just start it up. Yeah, I already had I had the starter. Just go ahead and pay them the two hundred bucks to put this in starter on, man. You know. And then, plus, they looking at stuff, they probably would have looked at it and looked at the connectors and be like, hey, let me go ahead and just throw some more um, eye clips on these and wires. The eye clip look kind of weak on this and wire stuff. So they probably could have looked at that because they do it all the time. Be like, this is not that strong. Let me just go ahead and just do this real fast when they was pulling it up. You know, me, I'm just throwing it back up there. Okay, it seems good, good to me. You know, I'm just throwing it back up there. But hey, now you know, threw it back up there and see what, what didn't happen. But I know I better get some of these in wires too. These in, there's in clips and everything like this for wires just in case I have another wire that pop or anything like that. That's the other thing, reason why I be keep buying these fittings and these, these joiner fittings too. Just in case I have a hose and a hose sprinkle leak somewhere. You know, I have these joiner ones where I can just fix it real quick while I'm on the road. You know, when you're on the road, you got to do what you have to do. Luckily, I'm 
down here in the area where I stay at. Like I say I'm eight miles away from my parents' house, so I'm able to go there and uh, get this on wire fixed. And then also see my daddy, because he didn't retire, so he home and stuff. So it just gave him the chance to keep an eye on him, because he's sick. His body is ailing. He's not as strong as he used to be. So it just gave me a time to, to see him, too. And, you know, I know he's feeling it, him being retired, and that's not him. He worked his whole life. He worked his whole life, y'all, fixing stuff and stuff like that. Anyway, this video is already long enough. All right, uh, holla at y'all later. That's what's going on. Again, you know, with these low freight rates, if you can get some contracted freight, get some contracted freight. Uh, try to make that your plan to get the contract freight. Contract the freight is cheaper than spot market freight, but it's a spot market for a reason. Because on the spot, it could be high, or on the spot, it could be low. Contract is going to be the same regardless. It's cheaper, so you can't go, well, this land is paying $2,800. Yeah, but it's a contract. I'm going to give you this consistent contract for $2,400, though. And so a lot of people don't want to do it because they, they feel like they miss it out or they're leaving some money on the table. But at times like this, this is why you have contract free. I know no matter what, I do these loads, $7,200 a week, home five nights a week. Off the rest of the day Friday, it's uh, 11 o'clock now, they almost finished. Off for the rest of the day, it's, uh, I stay 55 miles from here. You know, so <laughs> I'm off the rest of the day Friday, man. I'm off Saturday. Um, we are putting on, which is me, the Askews, in my um, community, housing community, we put on an Easter egg hunt. This is our second one. And um, yeah, I spent some Benjamins. I spent some Benjamins. Okay, I spent some Benjamins. But it's in our community, and I'm going to have some uh, videos of that. All right.